Today's skill session is about paragraphs and we're going to look at these three topics. Firstly, what is a paragraph? Second, how do I structure a paragraph? And third, how do I know when to start a new paragraph? So a paragraph is a group of sentences about one main idea. It can be as short or as long as you like, as long as the idea you have been writing about has been fully explored. There is a simple and easy way to remember how to structure a paragraph. It's called the traffic light system. Each colour stands for a different part of the paragraph. The topic sentences. The topic of a paragraph is introduced by a key sentence. This is often called a topic sentence. This contains the main idea of the paragraph. It often comes at the start of a paragraph. For example, there are three reasons why Britain is one of the best countries in the world. It introduces the paragraph. Supporting sentences, represented here in orange, and they come after the topic sentence, making up the body of the paragraph. Each sentence needs to be about your topic. What do they do? They give details to develop and support the main idea of the paragraph. You should give supporting facts, details and examples here. For example, this section. First, Britain had, has an excellent transport system. Second, Britain has a high standard of education. Students are taught by well-trained teachers and are encouraged to continue studying at university. Finally, Britain's cities are clean and efficiently managed. And then we have ending sentences. This is represented by the green. Ending sentences close or finish the paragraph. They can a. Repeat the topic sentence in a different way b. Express how we feel about the topic c. Express what we think about the topic for example here, as a result, Britain is a desirable place to live. There we go. Here we have the traffic light -like system. The topic sentence introduces what the paragraph is about. The supporting sentences add details to the topic sentence and the ending sentence concludes or closes the paragraph. An effective paragraph has these three elements contained therein. So your task is to read through the following paragraph and use colours to colour in the topic sentence, supporting sentences and ending sentences. If you're doing this on your iPad, I um, suggest you screenshot it and put it in to explain everything and then choose the colours. Otherwise, if you're in class and we have a paper copy, you can do it with different colour felt tips or pencils. This is the paragraph I want you to pick out the three different elements in. Reality television shows. I think there are too many reality TV shows on television. They fall into different categories. Those that focus on ordinary people in ordinary situations. Those that put ordinary people into unusual situations. And those that give ordinary people a chance to become celebrities by showcasing their talents. As viewers, we watch each of these to see what ordinary people are like and how they react under pressure. Whilst this can be entertaining, it can also feel like exploitation. Your task is to identify the introduction, the supporting sen structure sentences and the ending sentences. Now there's another simple method you can use to remember when to start a new paragraph. It's called tip top. As you can see, um, there's capital T and I which represents time, capital P represents place, and then the second T O represents topic and P person. So if you're ever stuck and you think, oh, when do I need to start a new paragraph? Remember this little actually it's a top tip, but remember it's a tip top. Okay, time, place, topic, person. Someone once told me that paragraphing is like ordering your topics, rather like you would order your clothes in the chest of drawers, you know, having your, your underwear and your socks in one section and your t-shirts in another and your um, jeans maybe if they're not hanging up in your wardrobe in, you know, in the bottom drawer or something like that. Well, um, as you can see, you can try and remember to structure your writing like this. In the top drawer, having your introduction, introducing what you're going to say. The second drawer, having the first tip top. The second drawer. The third drawer, having the second tip top. And lastly, the conclusion. 
by using this structure you'll have a well-ordered essay as well as well-crafted and ordered paragraphs. Lastly, you need to order these sentences to make an effective paragraph. You can add any linking words as necessary, those connectives and conjunctions, to help your writing flow and make sense. Feel free to take out any sentences that don't make sense or don't really add any details or are superfluous to your paragraph. As you can see, by changing around the sentence order, you can make an effective paragraph that makes sense from beginning to end. Now can you answer these questions about paragraphs? Can you answer what is a paragraph? Can you answer how to structure a paragraph? And can you answer when to, that you know when to start a new paragraph?